All right, Facebook, YouTube, my screen got dark. All right, but the topic of this message that I wanna talk about concerning, concerning uh, this message called the reality of the world system isn't going against nobody. The world system is not going against nobody. Now, Mac, what are you talking about? Well, talking about what's going has been going on too long, absolutely too long, ridiculously long, in my point of view, that this church system, well, the world has been, you know, uh, influencing people, they're negative influencing people for a long time concerning television, radio, uh, your internet, your environment, everywhere else, all kind of negative influence going on for a long time. It has been uh, uh, occupying places more influence than the ideal gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad how it, this is not being talked about much. You know, uh, th this ideal has not been talking, it's not being talked about as much in a public uh, arena is need to be addressed by more ministers because it, it doesn't make sense. See, look, see, here's the thing that people like I try to say, it don't understand the kingdom of God or the ideal of a kingdom, period. If we are a kingdom, a kingdom is supposed to, if we we are the kingdom of God and we're supposed to be the dominant kingdom, then the kingdom of darkness. But if the kingdom of darkness is uh, in the position, the power position of more influence in all kinds of shapes and facets, more than it is concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ, then then the kingdom of darkness is in the authority position. You know, the position of authority pretty much in this world and concerning the outcomes that happen in this world, the destruction that happens in this world, the confusion, conflict, and chaos, as much as confusion and conflict and chaos is happening, then not the peace of God, you know what I'm saying, that's supposed to uh, put a foot on the devil, you know what I'm saying, but if we operate, but if the foot is not on the devil, that means the church is not operating in the peace of God. You know what I'm saying? It should be that simple. See it like that, but if you know, the church system is trying to convince people that, you know, oh, well, you're, you, you're doing, the church system is doing according to the word of God and all of what the Bible is saying, but there's not uh, the performance of what, or the outcome healing signs and wonders is not there in a great way you know what i'm saying look this this place is called manatee memorial hospital a hospital is building is building a more on this hospital and the reason why they're building more because they know there's going to be more sick people out there you know what i'm saying that's going to need a place you know to be treated concerning their sicknesses but oh, get all right, man. Be easy, man. <laughs> My friend, uh, you know, but uh, I think a church system is supposed to have Jesus Christ, the great physician, is, that is a healer. Healer, it says in um, Matthews 4 and 23 that he healed them, healed them all, healed them with all sickness and all diseases all sickness and all diseases now notice he didn't say some sickness and diseases but he said they said it said all sickness and all diseases that is supposed to be the performance if it's about jesus christ that is supposed to be the outcome that's supposed to come but is there is the world going against a body and that well going they're going against nobody because there's not a, we're not really the church system is not operating as the body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's not a body of Christ. It's not what Paul described in 1 Corinthians 12. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one body, many members. 
you know what I'm saying, members coming together and coming against the kingdom of darkness as one, you know, church, you know, and I try to tell people trying to find a scripture where we are supposed to be even naming churches, you know what I'm saying? Because how are you going to name something that already has a name and it's supposed to be one body, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be one, you know? Uh, one, you know, and it's as what it says Ephesians 4, you know, uh, in the unity of the spirit, in the unity of the faith, it, it talks about one spirit, one God, or the Father in you all, through you all, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be one in unity of, of, of working all, working together, you know what I'm saying? Because we love God, all things are supposed to work together, you know what I'm saying? Not as individuals, we got individual uh, ministries, individual churches, individuals uh, are out there. And the thing is, if there's individuals, then there's nobody really going against the world system. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad that the world system is getting more advantage because nobody's not speaking up uh, this uh, concerning this nobody church system. It's just a bunch of individuals trying to save souls, but they're, you know, but they're not trying to get in unity, you know, and it's sad to what extent that is not going on when the scripture is supposed to clearly, is clearly says in the scriptures of Ephesians 4, it's the only way we can serve the Lord that I always talk about, and, and the dynamics of what the church is supposed to be all about all together and i mean it should doesn't make sense that you know as individuals you know what i'm saying it, it, we we supposed to accomplish things as individuals and a system should not even make sense you know what i'm saying all these you know systems in the world that's working together and doing stuff and accomplishing a lot of things you know uh things are not producing what uh, well, things that are not of the kingdom of God, but it, it should make sense concerning to me, I want to get more technical, that everything like the atom of the proton and the neutron, you know what I'm saying, comes together. You know what I'm saying? Everything that is established, everything that is created is something that's something, hello, how you doing? That comes together. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be exist, you have to be existed by a proton and a neutron that creates a nucleus, a nucleus that creates matter, and a matter that creates substance, and a substance that creates a substructure of something. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be something, period, you have to, it, it's, it's the whole, everything is created that something has to come together. You know what I'm saying? It never, not uh, the ideal of something divided is the ideal of the atomic bomb when it's a, all about a bomb that is sep separating atoms you know what i'm saying it's bringing destruction and you know as what jesus says may i say that if any kingdom and that's including the kingdom of god divided against itself you know what i'm saying shall not stand you know and if any you know, well, well, should be brought to desolation, it says. You know, and the thing is, this system of this church system is created, divided, and you know what I'm saying, in division concerning denominations, it is not being spoke out about this idea that is the total reason of the neutral, neutralizing the. Uh, kingdom of God as what Jesus said to the scribes and Pharisees in Matthew 23 and 13 you know what I'm saying you have shut up the kingdom of heaven saying that you know the told the scribes and Pharisees they have shut up the kingdom of heaven concerning the power of God operating in the religious structure concerning you know that time and unfortunately that religious structure is still in right now Matter of fact, they call churches religious organizations. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, this needs to be addressed. If we truly supposed to be following, oh my God, following the uh, gospel of Jesus Christ, that it's a body. 
It's a body that's supposed to be joined together, a joined together body that is that is according to uh, 1 Corinthians 12. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, this is not being spoken about more enough. Not enough uh, are not blowing a horn on this ideal because this is where the kingdom of we can truly operate in the true power and the true force that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us to have, to have that ability to, you know, really triumph against the kingdom of darkness. And that's what, you know, people need to understand that the kingdom of God, that that power of kingdom of God that's advertised in the scriptures can only be operated when we are in obedience, but the church's system is not in obedience concerning a body structure. You know what I'm saying? And you know, in a body structure, so therefore, the, the world system is not really going against a body. They're going against nobody, you know what I'm saying? But a body shall come together. A body is gonna be established very soon concerning God's divine plan. God's gonna get things in order, in order according to the word of God that I try to tell people. It's in 1 Corinthians 15 and 23 that uh, in his order, in Jesus Christ's order, things are going to get in order according to the kingdom of God first, and then Christ at his coming. You know what I'm saying? But things have to get in order, and what's going to get in order is a body. A body is going to get in order, and it will assemble to come against this darkness and destroy this darkness that is going to destroy this kingdom tear this kingdom down yes the kingdom of, the, of satan will be tear, tore down very soon you know what i'm saying that people don't know because there's so many scriptures that that people don't understand i try to tell people that first of all that paul says that we're supposed to get ready for war and in first thessalonians of five talks about getting putting on armor getting ready breastplate you know what i'm saying getting ready for war Getting ready for war to get in order to assemble together to come against darkness in second corinthians 6 talks about us uh, uh coming together concerning the day of salvation you know what i'm saying yeah that didn't take place and that and 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 uh paul is talking about uh, uh isaiah isaiah 61 uh talks about you know getting in order you know isaiah 61 the, the year of the lord of his vengeance is what really these signs are all about you know letting you know that it's happening soon concerning the signs of the year of our lord and his vengeance you know what i'm saying that things are going to get rectified according to heaven and get in order according to jesus christ the first fruits everything's going to be about jesus christ soon that i call the jesus world order yes i call it the jesus world order that a body will be established you know what i'm saying and those that want to be a part of it be a part of it those that don't don't you know what i'm saying the kingdom of god is not in word but it's in power those that do what they supposed to do will be a part of it. But those that don't want to do it, they're not going to be a part of it. So to be ready for that event that's going to happen very soon. And But right now, the world system is not going against nobody. But pretty soon, they will go against a body. And the body will conquer and destroy and annihilate this kingdom. And that's the message. And I hope you understand it. And I hope you get it. To God be the glory. And from never in Jesus' name, amen.